happy Saturday. I'm out super early. It is 8.02. I literally left my house at 7.45 a.m. Woke up at 7.30. I got dressed in 15 minutes. Um, but I have a detail session this morning. And I have a detail session. Well, a detail setup session with my sister at 11.00. I have a detail, another detail session with another client at 2. Um, and then tonight, I am going out for a girls' night. So, um, the weekend is busy. And the girl is moving all weekend, like boom, 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 boom. Yes. Um. So, yeah. I wanted to take you guys on this journey of being busy as a photographer on a weekend and how... You maneuver and how you make it happen because um, sometimes you be like Woo, I don't know, i'm gonna get that girl we're gonna get that um so yeah that is the weekend that we are having and so of course like i'm not recording like my like everything i'm doing this weekend i'm just recording the work aspect of it so i'm giving you guys all photography based vlog right now um so right now i'm currently at the spot where i need to take the detail shots it takes the clients like hey i'm here um so just waiting on a response to see what's going to take place as far as someone coming to open up this door um so yeah um that's what i'm doing now but of course if you guys are not subscribed to the youtube channel please make sure meet please make sure that you subscribe if you guys are already part of the fam just make sure you turn on that bell notification so that you're always notified for a new video and of course if you are new my name is shanavia i am a lifestyle detail and event photographer um, i also do small weddings but I haven't really did any weddings at all in the last two years, like last year or so. Um, I'm trying to like ease myself into that aspect. It is actually harder than people think. People be like, just like when people say they need a wedding photographer, just say I can do it. Yeah, but it's not as easy because sometimes people won't experience people that have done like 20 weddings. Or you may have somebody that takes a chance on you. But, of course, I have a portfolio. Um, I've did style shoots and things like that. And I've already shot three weddings anyway. Um, but it's just the aspect of being able to get and tap into that industry. Um, so, hopefully it works out soon. But, of course, if you've never seen a photography vlog for me, uh, make sure you check out the photography playlist be on youtube because i have like maybe five videos on there so i always try even on my week weekend vlogs or weekly vlogs i always try to incorporate something photography based in it because um that's part of my life so yeah that's pretty much it this is probably the only intro that you guys may get from me, well, the, the only talking segment that you guys may get from me. Um, but of course, if you have any questions about photography or anything that you want to know, if you want to know how I became a detail uh, photographer, if you want to know how it is to be a detail photographer and what to look for and how to do this and how to do that, just just comment below let me know or you can hit me up on my instagram boom boom i have three instagram pages and one is wedding and detail photography and event photography i separated it from my lifestyle photography page um because i like didn't like the aesthetics together it was just too much for me um so i have one lifestyle page I have a detailed small wedding and event page and then I have my personal page so if you're not following me on neither one of those please make sure you give me a follow here they go below and yeah so um I hope you guys have an amazing weekend I hope you guys enjoy this vlog and if you guys of course want to see more vlogs like this 
of me like just showing photography based vlogs please let me know i'm always down for it y'all <laughs> um so yeah just let me know I started with my 50 lens my um this is like my detail detail like lens but of course I do change it out I never use my 85 unless it's like a really large space and I'm able to get one full table with it but it's very rare that I use that lens whenever I'm doing detail sessions um but my 50 is my main base lens for it um, I'll use it for every detail session that I do, but I'm changing over to my kit lens because I don't necessarily have um, a zoom lens or anything like that. So this is my zoom lens. So I never really invested in another lens as far as um, zoom go. Um, eventually I will, but I haven't. I haven't seen the reason to yet because the kit lens work wonders so i started off with the 50 just to get those more intimate shots but now i'm using the zoom lens which is the kit lens to get full room shots um because the space is a little bit more smaller um i can't use the 50 to get a full room shot um i probably will put it back on at the end whenever i shoot from the door right here um just to get like more of like a intimate close space um full room shot but other than that, the kit lens is the lens that I use to get the whole full room. Like it literally gets the full room, it gets the lighting, it gets everything. And the good thing about the kit lens is that um, it actually adjusts to the lighting in here. So if it's like a low setting um, room, the kit lens, my zoom lens is perfect. It literally catches like every detail. Um, the lighting, the way that it should look, as far as with the lights off, everything. I love it. So, of course, this event is not fully set up because they do have a second event, which is the one I'm doing at two. Um, so, this one is not till four. This is like a wedding anniversary um, where they're re celebrating, rekindling re type thing. Um, but it's not till four. Sorry, if you guys hear the fire truck and ambulance. But it's not to four, um, so you don't see any candles or anything lit, so I won't get the aspect of it lit. But of course, I'll still have the details of it, the flowers and the chairs and everything, which I really love these white chairs. Might actually use them for my wedding. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I love this detail, the setting. Um, this emerald green is actually um, the color that I'm using for my own wedding. So that's exciting. Um, but the other colors no white yes pink no it'll probably be included in the flowers but not like this um so yeah that's pretty much it i'm about to go ahead and capture with the zoom lens and let you guys see that then i'm going to do a quick video so of course you guys won't see me record that because i don't have like a blog camera yet but you guys will see the video in the vid in this video. Um, but I normally go around and video the actual room um, just for the client to have to put on their own page and for me to put on my page for promotion purposes to show that I can do reels for your event as far as details go. And I can do a, um, the detail shots itself. So, yes. Um, also, I... Uh, well, I don't have anybody in here with me and it's just me. It's easier for me to talk with you guys. But one of the main things that I do whenever I'm doing detail shots um, is making sure that the chairs are straight, making sure that the um, forks and the knives and the napkins and whatever the menu cards, um, that all of that is straight on the table. Of course, like she didn't have like candles in here. Um, so whenever I'm doing the middle center piece, 
which is like the centerpiece right here, how they don't have candles in this one as well. I make sure that I move that out the way because you don't want just a plain base sitting there. And it's like on the picture, like, what are you doing? So make sure you're always looking at those small details. Um, you can always ask a client, is it okay for me to fix this and fix that? So yeah, but let's get to it. and redo um, a few shots um, I got a little bit more close range shots up at the head table um, with the flowers and everything and then I did it from this doorway so you see this door this is where I got the full room shot at um, and I also got it with my 50 to get a close range full room shot so yeah I'm about to do my video and then I'm out of here <music> close out the vlog over the weekend um so we are like four days past saturday like we're it's wednesday and i am now closing out this vlog <laughs> um but i wanted to come on here um and explain i did not be, i was not able to get a bts of the last two events that i did i actually 
um saturday it was just a lot it was a lot um to keep up with everything the morning started off kind of smooth and i was able to show you guys like you know me capturing details and things like that um but then the second um event that was supposed to take place at two i ended up having to take do that one before i did the one at 11. um so mind you i did go um and help my sister out to set up that event but i did have to leave and come back to take the pictures um so then i end up going to 701 whaley taking the pictures there so i have a little bit of bts um but emmanuel didn't get a lot um, unfortunately um but of course um i did record videos like for me to post on social media reels and things like that and y'all i'm super excited about this i like my phone ended up dying too so that was another reason why it was kind of hard for me to close out the vlog on saturday my phone ended up dying and emmanuel initially got like the reel of the third event which was my sister's event he got like a video footage of how everything looked on the table so that was kind of good um but then my phone ended up dying and because my phone died i couldn't really see how the video looked so I was just going based on like his word of saying like I got a good footage and I'm like oh, I hope so. So um I <laughs> took the initiative and I recorded on my camera. I've never recorded any videos on my Canon ADD. Um so I did a reel, like a small little reel and recorded it um, and then I edited, uh, I want to say s Monday or was it Sunday? It was Sunday night, I think, because I ended up finishing all three detail galleries in one night. So I sent it off all to the clients. I want to say it was Sunday going into Monday. It was something like that, but they got all three galleries. All my clients got the galleries at the same time. I'm excited. This video was actually, it came out really, really nice. And the only thing I feel like I have to work on is like the folk, like getting it in focus more. Um, and then like having like a steady hand because my hand was shaking because I was a little nervous. Even though it was for my sister, but it was just like, oh my gosh. Like, I'm nervous because I've never done this. And so yeah it was exciting so i'm gonna show that here in the vlog the vlog and that you look forward to more like this if you do look forward to more vlogs like this of being a photographer in a day and what my day looks like especially on the weekends give this video a thumbs up or a comment and let me know what you would like to see in future vlogs um and of course if you're not subscribed to this youtube channel please make sure you stop and you subscribe before this video ends make sure that you um, follow me on all of my social media platforms and i hope to see you guys soon peace i want to love you and treat you right i want to hold you every day and every night 